Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way to create a letterhead in Word. So I've got my default document up here just in portrait. I'm just going to increase the size of it. So the first thing we're going to do is just to create some shapes at the top. So go to insert, along to shapes, and I'm going to go down to this shape here, click on it. And then I'm going to click, hold my shift key down and drag. Now, as you can see, my shape has a border and it also has a fill color. So we're going to change those. So make sure that your shape is selected. Make sure you're on the shape format tab and go to this section here. This is your shape fill color. You click on the drop down. You've got the options of these colors here. If you click on this more fill colors, you have more color options with the color wheel and you also have an eyedropper tool. And this allows you to import some color swatches if you want to match colors. I have a video on that and if you want to watch that, I'll put it in the description below. And then you can select the appropriate color. So I'm just gonna click on the drop down and select this color here. Now this is my recent color. So I've used the eyedropper tool to select some colors. I'm just going to select this one here. Now there's a faint blue outline around the edge. I'm going to get rid of my outline by going up to this icon here and click no outline. Now once I'm happy with my shape, I'm just going to copy and paste this three times. So command or control C, command or control V to copy once and paste again to command or control V. Now I'm just going to change the color of these two shapes in exactly the same way. Select my shape, shape format, shape fill. Now I'm going to select this color here and then this shape here. I'm going to go to this color here. Now I can put these in any order I like, but I think for this tutorial, I'm just going to pop this shape here. I'm going to take it right to the edge. Then I'm going to take this shape and raise it up slightly and then take this shape and again raise it up. Now you will find that as you move these around they will click into place. So you can find that the distance here and here can be the same as this one here and here because of the way these shapes just click into place. Now you notice that the shapes are in different orders. This shape's on top of this one, but this shape is underneath this one. So the way we can order them is again, select the shape that you want to deal with. So I want to send this one behind this darker shape. So make sure it's selected. Again, we're on shape format. Go along to this section here, and this is where you can send them back or bring them forwards. So I want to send this shape back, so click send backwards. Now it sent it behind this shape, because this was the third shape that we made, so we need to send it behind the first shape we made. So we can either click on the drop down and select send back, or we can continue to click on send backwards until it will go backwards. And then this one I want to send behind this one, so again, send backwards and just keep clicking and eventually it will disappear behind. So the next thing you need to do is to ensure that these are equally spaced. And the way we do that is select this shape here, hold the command or control key down, continue to select all three shapes, make sure you're on shape format, go along to the align tab, click on the drop down and select distribute horizontally. And once you do that, you'll see that each of these shapes are now distributed equally. Now, before you click away from these, we can now put these in a group. So go up to the group icon, click on the drop down, and select group. So now all three objects are in a group. 
and you can therefore move these any way you want to in your letterhead. So the next thing to do is go back up to insert, shapes and we'll go to the square. Now we're just going to click and drag all the way across our document and then ensuring this shape is selected we're going to go up to format pane. Now if you don't have format pane you can just double click, I close this down, double click on your shape and this format pane will appear. Here we can customise our shape with regards to its colour, its outline, shadows, 3D effects, gradients, all sorts of things. So we're just going to concentrate on this bucket icon here and this fill section. Click on the drop down and I'm going to go down to gradient fill. Now again I've got all my colours set up and the gradient but if you want to change any of these colours here all you do is click on this particular gradient. You can just see you've got a little orange outline around this little icon. Go to your colour bucket here, click on the drop down, select from all the colours available. Sorry you can't see the whole of this but you know what it looks like. Down to more colours and again you've got your colour wheel and your eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool, if you click on it, you can see if I move anywhere in my document it will select the colour from that section. Once you're happy just click OK and this colour here will change. So if I just go ahead and change a random colour, let's say I change it to red, you can see that my gradient has changed red. You can also move these as well, so if you want more red, you can, and also these middle sections here. So they're really, really versatile. So let's just go back and select my original colour. There we go. Now again, you can adjust the transparency of it, and you can also adjust the direction in which it goes. We've got linear, radial, I don't think radial does an awful lot there. That's a rectangular pattern and there you have that effect as well. So we'll just go for linear for now and you can also adjust the angle. I think I had mine at 180 degrees. There we go. So you can also adjust this gradient. So I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to copy and paste this shape, Command or Control C, Command or Control V. And I'm going to pop that down at the bottom. It's going to make it a little bit wider so we make sure we cover the ends of the letter. And then I'm going to take this shape up and put it at the top. And again, as you can see, it's overlapped this shape here, so I need to send it to the back. So back up, click on the drop down center back. Okay so we're mostly there now. I'm just going to show you how I would insert the text here. You can go ahead just use a cursor as normal but as you can see on many of my other videos that's not actually the way that I would choose to do it. And the reason being is because the method I'm about to show you is a lot more flexible. So I would go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and drag. I would then insert all of the body of my text into this text box. Okay, so now you've got the text in your letter. All you need to do is just move these boxes to fully adjust the space in which you want your text to take up. You can move the text box around. If you can't move the text box, right click, go down to wrap text and go down to in front of text. If you make sure that's checked you'll be able to move this text box any way you like. So if I only want my paragraphs to look about this wide I can adjust that without having to go to the end of the sentence or the end of the line and keep pressing the return key. This is really really flexible. And then again I'm going to, if I click off this text box, you shall see that it automatically comes with a border. So let's get rid of that. Select it. 
go to the outline tab, click on the drop down and select no outline. Okay. Now you've formatted this text box, you can just go ahead, copy and paste it, double click, command or control A to highlight it all, delete, and just reduce the size of this text box, move that to one side, it's going to increase the size of my page. Now when you go ahead and type this normally in Word with just a cursor typing across the page, this will all line up beautifully at the edge here. And in order to ensure that we do do that, we can do one of two things. We can bring this cursor in until one of our letters disappears onto the next line. We can then hold the command or control key down and select the main body of our text. Then we can go up to the Align tab and then Align to Right. And that will line up these text boxes to the right hand side. And when you click off, you can see that the text is roughly in line here as we go down. Now, in addition to that, you can then go up to the Home tab and you can select this Align to Right tab here, where your text will also align to the right. Now again, if you're not happy with where this text is, you can just simply use your arrow keys to just nudge it left or right. Now you can go ahead and do that with your date and the addressee and also a digital signature if you need to. If you need to know how to create one of those, again, I've also got a video on that which I'll link in the description below. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.